Welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the world's best quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm so excited to let you know that Smart Quiz Builder now supports a leaderboard feature that will allow you to create a leaderboard of scores, right? You can display a list of all the users and their scores depending on their rank, and it will allow you to gamify your quizzes. It will allow you to create scoring quizzes and assessment quizzes and increase the engagement, increase the participation because it's going to help you get people motivated to take the quiz, not just pass the quiz, but actually engage with the quiz, actually excel at the quiz, actually do their best to score the highest that they can score in the quiz because they can compare themselves with other people that are taking the quiz. They can see how they stack up against people other people that are taking the quiz, right? So it will give you so many options with your quizzes. You can do this for your scoring quizzes using points. You can do this for assessments using the total number of correct answers. And there are a ton of options we have added in the back end that will allow you to fully customize what you do with the leaderboard. Now let me take you to the back end to show you how easy it is to set this up. Let me give you a quick demo of how this works. And then I'll take you to the back end to show you my settings. So this is the leaderboard that I have currently. There are four people on this leaderboard. And you can see this is how it looks. So what I'm going to do is take the quiz now and then show you how it affects the standings. So this is the quiz. I'm going to take this quiz. This is a scoring quiz. And I'm just going to pick some random answers here. And let's see what score I get. I'm going to opt in here. And you can see I got 46 out of 60 in this uh, scoring quiz. So let's go ahead and check the status of the leaderboard. So you can see here there are five people on this leaderboard now, and this person has made his way to number two spot because uh, he got a score of 46, and he is number two on this leaderboard now. So this is how it works in real time. It's going to figure out, and this leaderboard is based on uh, the highest score. So this is the back end of Smart Quiz Builder. This is the leaderboard page, and you need to be on Smart Quiz Builder version 28.4 or above to use this feature. And when you access this page initially, it's going to say you don't yet have any leaderboard. Click here to create. And if you already have a leaderboard, it's going to show you here. And you can have more than one. You can have as many leaderboards as you want for different quizzes. Here I have created one. I'm just going to edit and show you my settings. But even if you create a new one, you know, same settings. So let me edit this one and show you what I have done here. All right. So there are three different tabs here. General settings of your leaderboard where you can select the quiz and all that stuff. Customizer is where you can customize your leaderboard and how it's going to look in the front end. And short code is going to give you a short code at the end. You can publish it on any WordPress page you want. But if you want to publish it on a non-WordPress site, you can use the embed code. If it's a WordPress site, use short code. If it's not a WordPress site, use the embed code. All right, so let's start with the general settings. Give your leaderboard a name and you can give it any name you want. Select quizzes to include. And you can do leaderboard for a scoring quiz or an assessment quiz, right? These are the two types of quizzes you can use uh, for your leaderboard, scoring or assessment. So I have selected scoring here. Scoring quiz is going to add up the points. And if it's an assessment quiz, it's going to add up the total number of correct answers. And that's what is going to be displayed. So select quizzes. What quizzes do you want to include in this leaderboard? You can actually select more than one. So if you want multiple quizzes and you want SQB to add up the total points they get in all of these quizzes, then you can select multiple quizzes and have them all be part of the leaderboard, or you can just select one. So here I'm just going to go ahead and just select this one. And how many entries should be displayed in the front end? So here I have set this to six. I'm going to change this to five. If a user retakes the quiz, should the new entry be applied to the leaderboard, overwriting the old one? So say that someone gets 70 out of 100. So if they retake the quiz and you allow a quiz retake, do you want SQB to take their latest score? Or do you want uh, SQB to take their original score, right? So in this case, I have set this to yes. Now select date range for the leaderboard, all entries, no date range. Or you can set a date range. And SQB will only start calculations based on the selected date range here, right? So you can change it here. What to display if no data found for the leaderboard? You can add whatever you want here. And if there are no scoring leaders yet, or no one has taken the quiz yet, it's going to show them this message. So what should be the display order in your leaderboard? So by default, it's the highest score, right? The person who gets the highest score has the highest rank will be, their entry will be first. Uh, but you can also do first submission based on whoever has submitted first, completed first. 
or you can do based on the last submission. So it's up to you how you want to do this. This is by default set to highest score, and that's what I'm going to use here. And display options. Do you want to display full name, just the first name, and or if you want to display first name and last initial. Now, if you want to display their full name in the leaderboard, it means you need to have their full name, right? Typically, uh, when you use Smart Quiz Builder and you are getting users to opt into your quiz, you're just going to ask them for their first name, right? But if you also collect their last name, and you want to just display the first name and last initial or just the first name for privacy reasons, you can do that. So I'm going to set this to just show the first name and then the format. How do you want to display their score? Actual score by the total score, actual score or in percent. And it will show them their score in percent, like 80% or 70% or 50%, whatever the case may be. So here, this is the leaderboard, right? So this is how it looks. Currently, we have this one template. We'll be adding more templates in future, but it looks pretty awesome. And everything is fully customizable here, so you can make it look however you want it to look. So this background image, you can see, you can click on this background, and you can change the image to whatever you want, right? This is the image I'm using, but you can change it to whatever you want, or you can remove the image and just use a background color. That's fine too. And background opacity, you can control the opacity here. All right, so here you can also adjust the width and height. So here I'm using 100 bh, which means full height. It takes over the entire screen and it look pretty nice. That's what I'm doing. But you don't have to. You can reduce the height if you want, reduce the width if you want. And inner section, this is the section. So if you want to reduce the width, you can do that too. And here you can adjust the box shadow and all that stuff. And uh, here... You can, this is the intersection. This is the intersection customizer. So these colors that you see here, you can customize it here, right? So if you want to change the color to a different color, right, you can change it like this. But I'm just going to stick with the color I had. Description background color, everything can be customized like this color, right? So here, if you want a different color, you can customize it. You can adjust the opacity here using this scale right here. You can adjust the opacity if you want. And... Uh, Heading background color. This is the heading, right? So if you want to change the heading background color to a different color, you can do that too. This is click and edit. You can change it to just the font, font height, font weight. Everything is fully customizable. This, you can change it to say whatever you want it to say. And in the front end, it's automatically going to show the scoring leaders, right? Save and next. Here at the end, it's going to give you a short code. You can copy it and paste it on any WordPress page where you want the leaderboard to show up. And if it's not a WordPress site, you can use this embed code and uh, it will display the leaderboard wherever you publish it. So let me show you in the front end and show you how it looks and how you can test it. All right, so this is the back end and I have entered this short code and this is just a regular WordPress page. I'm using my page builder and all I have on this WordPress page is just this short code. But you can insert this leaderboard short code wherever you want on your WordPress page. So in the front end, this is how it's going to look. And you can see rank, name, score. So this is just a test quiz. And I created it just to show you how this works. And you can see I have said, show the first five people on the leaderboard based on rank. And so these are the first five top five uh, scorers in this uh, quiz. And you can see it's a 60 out of 60, 48, 40 out of 60, and this. I'm showing them what they scored and out of how much. That's what they are seeing here. This is so easy to create and it looks pretty awesome, right? And you can also use multiple quizzes in your calculations. And if it's a, if it's an assessment, it's going to show them how much correct answers they got. So they, it will say five out of 10 or 10 out of 10, depending on the number of correct answers. And you can make it clear here. You can update this text to say whatever you want. And also this goes on your WordPress page, right? So you can say whatever you want on the WordPress page. Now, there are a couple of things about the leaderboard. By default, it will be displayed to everyone, right? Anyone can see the leaderboard. But if you have a membership site and you want just the logged in members to be able to see the leaderboard, then publish the leaderboard uh, in your members area, right? Protect it using your membership software. Now, my membership software is DAP, Digital Access Pass, so I can protect it using DAP and display it just to the logged in members and only they get to be a part of the leaderboard. So that's up to you if you want everyone to participate and anyone that takes the quiz will be allowed an entry into the leaderboard, then make it public like this. Don't protect it. Allow everyone to see it. And we also have an opt-out feature where you can allow users to opt out. You can see here towards the bottom, it says don't want to be listed. Click to opt out. And uh, this one, you can customize it in the back end. I'll show you how. But when they click on it, it's going to say, are you sure you don't want to be listed in the leaderboard? If I say, okay, my name will be taken out of the leaderboard. 
you can see here uh, there are four entries uh, because uh, I said I don't want to participate in the leaderboard all right and now let me show you the back end and you can customize this in the settings page let me show you where this is the SQB settings page customizer message customizer if you go towards the bottom of this page you can see it says are you sure you don't want to be listed and then you need to be logged into opt out click to opt out all of this can be customized here whatever you want to change it to you can change the text to say that right here all right so this is how you can customize the text that appears there and uh, this is only for logged in members if user is not logged in they will not see that opt out option there and one more thing i want to show you is the back end where you can as an admin you can see reports if you go to the reports page you will see there's a new option for leaderboard you can select your leaderboard right here click on search Whatever is your setting for the leaderboard is going to use the same setting and it's going to show you exactly uh, the view that your users have uh, to the leaderboard, exactly the same table, same settings, all right? You can see here, um, it says rank one, same four people are showing up here and this is the score. It will also add an include feature where you can add back users that opted out. If they want to opt back in, you will be able to add them back through the backend. You can see it's really easy to set this up. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Also, if you need help with list building using quizzes, right? If you want to build your email list and if you're not sure how to do this, what type of quiz to add and where to place the quiz and what to say in your quiz, what type of questions you should ask in your quiz, then I have a list building challenge, a 14 day list building challenge. That's almost like a course. You can take it anytime uh, because the lessons are available in the members area. So when you log in, you can access the lessons whenever you want. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. This way you will be the first to know when I publish new videos like this. Thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great day. I'll be back soon with more. Bye for now.